Hello, I'm Rob Hirschfeld, CEO and co-founder of RackN, and this is my hot take from the February 18th Cloud 2030 discussion, where we talked about building out edge infrastructure, its motivations, its challenges, what needs to get done to make it happen. Uh, and this was really fascinating, uh, especially because we're in the middle of a cascading failure in Texas with power and water supplies, transportation, natural gas, uh, all having these interconnected failures. And the thing that really stood out from all our discussion about edge is the capacity utilization of those systems. And that we, as part of what we're doing, need to be building infrastructure that runs at high efficiency. It's part of what we're going to be facing as we look at IoT and autonomous cars and home use and energy consumption. All of those things, the technology we're talking about, will bring up efficiencies which is fantastic until you get disasters or unplanned things happening. And at those points, you have to be able to react dynamically. So edge and edge technologies provide us with the opportunity to run things at much higher efficiency levels, only to the extent that we have the information systems around it to respond, react, and change. Otherwise, we need to run at much lower efficiency levels in the 20% ranges to be able to handle excess capacity when we need it. Um, we're living this right now in Texas. So my, my hot take for this is that a lot of the things are factors in designing edge infrastructure, but we have to keep in mind that the reason we're building it is because we can use interconnected systems to run much more efficient and effective technology systems to handle both normal utilization and extraordinary utilization scenarios. Both are important.